ladies and gentlemen. Today we are taking a look at the Corniche Heritage Chronograph. Now this is from their Heritage line. They have quite a few watches in their line. I believe a couple of watches by now. And as you can see, here's the packaging it comes in. The shipping was very fast. Now, before we get started, the price point for this watch is 425 US dollars. So let's see what we get. Obviously, I unpackaged the watch already, but um, I just want to show you kind of how you, what you get. This is an extra suede uh, leather band here with quick release straps. You do get your certificate of origin, uh, which shows a little information about the watch and your reference number. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, pretty basic. You also do get a nice polishing cloth. And then in this piano lacquered box, which I got a little dirty already, but nice little push open here, and inside is your watch. So here it is. This is the Corniche Heritage Chronograph. And it's quite a nice looking watch, kind of resembles a Patek Philippe Chronograph. Uh, that's the first thing that came to my mind with the style of pushers and the layout, but obviously it's made by Corniche. This is not really a homage watch. And let's get into it. So here is the Corniche Heritage Chronograph in the flesh, as you can see. Uh, nice black dial, and the black dial on this model is actually a ceramic dial, uh, which is pretty cool. You know, a lot of brands don't really use ceramic dials, and it gives off a much more luxurious look, I would say. Now some basic dimensions, we have a 39 millimeter case here in terms of diameter. In terms of case thickness, we are looking at 11.5 millimeters, which is pretty thin, uh, considering, you know, the movement does help out, you know, this watch to be capable of having this uh, incredible thin uh, profile for a chronograph, I should say. So, we obviously do have a chronograph movement inside of here, as you can see. Here's the white chronograph hand, and this is the Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz movement. If you don't know what this movement is, it's basically a quartz movement combined with a mechanical module for the chronograph pusher, and you basically get that clicking feel as a real mechanical chronograph, and the hand also does sweep around the dial, uh, which I'll demonstrate in a little bit. Now the dial itself has some nice hand applied polished markers, nice sharp Delphine style hands here, as you can see, which are polished and faceted, uh, which look very elegant, very uh, luxurious, I should say. Uh, the dial, they kept it quite simple. We have your two sub dials. We do have a 60 minute chronograph, as you can see, 60 minutes over here, and a 24 hour sub dial over at the three o'clock position. Uh, the crown is pull and push. We do get 5 ATMs or 50 meters of water resistance. So no problem if you're washing your hands. Just definitely don't go swimming with this one. Now, as you can see, there also is fine print uh, on the outer portion of the dial, which seems to measure miles and cool stuff like that. Um, also a seconds track, which is very fine and minute, as you can see here, 0 through 60. Uh, just very cool, you know, not many people will probably get use out of that, but for the aesthetic look, I think it goes along well with this chronograph. Now the case is comprised of all 316L solid stainless steel. It's actually pretty well built. Um, we have a signed crown here, which is polished with the C for Corniche, as you can see here. Now, I finally brushed on these sides. The lugs kind of drop downwards towards the end, and then have a nice high polish on the top sides. If you can get a little look there, you see that nice high polish on the tops while these sides remain completely brushed. Same on the other side, nice brush work here, very smooth, no sharp edges, nothing like that. Now the bezel itself, the smooth bezel is highly polished and definitely goes along with that ceramic dial, gives it a little pop or a little flare, I would say, uh, which is always good. Now we do get a 20 millimeter lug width. We also do get a sapphire crystal, of course, uh, which is fitted, fitted pretty nicely. There's no issues there whatsoever. Now the pushers themselves, so I'm going to start that right there. As you can see, it does sweep around the dial, and this is measuring 60 minutes. And you can stop it and then reset it just like that. Or you can just hit the bottom one and it'll fly back and everything will reset automatically. So very simple to use. I'm going to pull it out to the first position where we do have a rogue date. Now the second position, we can set the time here, and the 24-hour track will go automatically with the time. So do not worry about that. And that's pretty much it. As simple as that. 60 minute chronograph and you have your time on the dial. Now the white print is pretty neat I should say. Right below the 12 o'clock position Cornish Heritage hybrid chronograph above 6. Now going to the case back as you can see here. It is screwed down and completely polished. Uh, their little tree emblem here. If I can get you in there. It is matte finished and polished where the tree is. It does state a uh, heritage chronograph, 
and some other specifications there, held on by screws, which is a nice touch. Now the actual strap itself is a deploying clasp. There is plastic on these, so that's not how it looks. It's covered by plastic here, just telling you guys that. And it is polished, uh, pretty simple deployant here, just a fold over, and it clicks down with a nice corniche signed uh, buckle there, as you can see. So, you know, it's pretty sturdy, it's not too bad. And if you want to adjust, you just pop this open and slide it up and down as you wish. The band itself is a genuine leather band uh, with some fake embossing here. As you can see, that's a pretty nice band though. It's not too bad. It's uh, definitely supple and comfortable. There's no need for a break-in on this one. The watch also does come with a suede leather band with quick-release straps, as well as this one, which uses the quick-release, as you can see here. Um, so if you want to swap out bands, no issue there. You will have to change the buckle. I believe the other band does not come with an extra buckle, uh, just so you know that. And yeah, a pretty simple watch. You know, it's a chronograph. It's kind of a dressy chronograph, I would say. Something that can definitely go with a, you know, a suit or even a black tie event or even a tuxedo. I mean, the black and white on this watch really pops with that ceramic dial. And accuracy is no problem on these movements considering, you know, it is, it is running a quartz module. So, you know, plus two or three seconds a month you're looking at. Now, there she is on my 6.5 inch wrist, 39 millimeter case. It fits really nice on the wrist. Um, the lugs definitely curve down nicely, as you can see there. I like how it fits. Definitely looks a lot more expensive than it costs. Uh, it is 425 US dollars, as stated on the Corniche website, which I will drop a link down to them in the description below, as well as the written article on watchaddictchannel.com. But it's definitely comfortable, you know, um, it's a good everyday wear. If you wear a suit to work or something like that, not really a sporty watch. But um, definitely a very legible watch, a clean watch. Um, and everything is in place. It's not too cluttered. It's easy to read. You do get that nice sweeping hand of the chronograph, which a lot of people nowadays really appreciate, considering, you know, if you want a Valjoux 7750 chronograph movement, you're going to have to pay at least five to 1500 US dollars, depending on, you know, the brand you get it from and the type of watch you're getting. But anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you think of this watch down in the description below. I think it's an all right buy. Um, I wouldn't say it's the bargain of the year, but it definitely has some nice goodies. You get a really nice piano lacquered box. Um, the watch is pretty spot on. And uh, it's a brand that doesn't seem to be going away. It's like a, you know, some micro brands, they pop up, but they release a model, they go away. Corniche has released many models and they're still around. So that's definitely good to see. So I will uh, leave a link to them down in the description below. And as always, guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in again. This is Watch Addict, Watch Reviews, and this is the Corniche Heritage Chronograph for 2019. Take it easy. Bye.